In this video, we'll look at some constrained optimization examples. In our previous video, we learned the following. If Q is the quadratic form given by X transpose times A times X, then the maximum of Q subject to X transpose times X equals 1 is the largest eigenvalue of A and is attained at the corresponding eigenvector. The minimum of Q subject to X transpose times X equals 1 is the smallest eigenvalue of A and is attained at the corresponding eigenvector. So now let's look at an example. So here we have the quadratic form x1 squared plus 4x1x2 minus 2x2 squared. What is the maximum and minimum value of q subject to x transpose times x equals 1? Where is the maximum and minimum attained? This quadratic form we've actually looked at in a previous video. We previously found that the matrix for this quadratic form is the matrix 1, 2, 2, negative 2. In fact, we've even found an orthonormal diagonalization for this matrix. We have the diagonal matrix D with entries 2, 0, 0, negative 3, and the matrix P with columns 2 over root 5, 1 over root 5, and negative 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5. So this tells me that the matrix A has the eigenvalue 2, and the corresponding eigenvector would be 2 over root 5, 1 over root 5. And also, it has the eigenvalue negative 3 with eigenvector negative 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5. So we're ready to answer the question. The maximum value of Q subject to X transpose times X equals 1 is the largest eigenvalue, which in this case is 2. And this max is attained at the corresponding eigenvector. So your choices are 2 over root 5, 1 over root 5, or negative 2 over root 5, negative 1 over root 5. The minimum value of Q subject to X transpose X equals 1 is the smallest eigenvalue of A. In this case, it's negative 3. And it's attained at its corresponding eigenvector. So the minimum value is attained at X equals negative 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5, or the opposite of that, 1 over root 5, negative 2 over root 5. Let's look at one more example. So here we have the quadratic form Q equals 7 times X1 squared minus 2 times X2 squared plus 4 times X3 squared minus 4X1, X2 plus 20X1, X3 minus 16X2, X3. We want to find the maximum and minimum of Q subject to the length of X equals 1. This condition is the same as saying x transpose times x equals 1. And then we also want to find where the max and the min are attained. So the first thing we want to do is write q in the form x transpose times a times x. So what we want to do is find the matrix of the quadratic form a. Now since q is a quadratic form with three variables, our matrix a is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. Now the diagonal entries of this 3 by 3 matrix are the coefficients of x1 squared, x2 squared, and x3 squared. The coefficient of x1 squared is 7, so that's my first diagonal entry. Coefficient of x2 squared is negative 2, so that's my second diagonal entry. And the coefficient of x3 squared is 4, so that's my third diagonal entry. Now, the 1, 2 entry of A and the 2, 1 entry of A add up to the coefficient of x1, x2 which in this case is negative 4. So here, these entries would be negative 2 and negative 2. They have to be the same because A is a symmetric matrix. Now, the 1, 3 entry of A and the 3, 1 entry of A has to add up to the coefficient of x1, x3, which in this case is 20. So those entries are 10 and 10. Lastly, the 2, 3 entry and the 3, 2 entry add up to the coefficient of x2, x3, which in this case is negative 16. So these entries are negative 8 and negative 8. So that's my matrix A. If I want to find the maximum and minimum value of Q subject to the length of x is equal to 1, then I would need to find the largest and smallest eigenvalue of A. 
So to find the eigenvalues of a, I'm going to solve the characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i equals 0. So I'm looking at the determinant of 7 minus lambda, negative 2, 10, negative 2, negative 2 minus lambda, negative 8, 10, negative 8, 4 minus lambda. Now if you calculate this determinant, you get minus lambda cubed plus 9 lambda squared plus 162 lambda. If we factor this, we get minus lambda times lambda plus 9 times lambda minus 18. Set this equal to 0 and solve for lambda, we get lambda equals 0, negative 9, and positive 18. So at this point, we can already tell what the maximum and minimum of q are. The maximum is going to be 18, and the minimum of q is going to be negative 9. Now, if we want to find the input vectors x where the maximum and minimum occur, then we need to find their corresponding eigenvectors. So let's start with the eigenvalue lambda equals 18. So here, let's find the eigenspace, which is the null space of a minus 18i. So a minus 18i is the matrix negative 11, negative 2, 10, negative 2, negative 20, negative 8, 10, negative 8, negative 14. Row reducing this, we get 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 1 half, 0, 0, 0. So the eigenspace for lambda equals 18 is the span of the vector 1, negative 1 half, 1. So now that I have an eigenvector, I want to find a unit eigenvector. So I'm going to take this vector and divide by its length. So the corresponding unit eigenvector is x equals 2 thirds, negative 1 third, 2 thirds. So this is one input that gives me the maximum value 18. Another one that would work is if I take the negative of this. So negative 2 thirds, 1 thirds, negative 2 thirds. Now to find where the minimum occurs, I would need to find the eigenvectors for lambda equals negative 9. So I want to look at the null space of a plus 9i. So that's the matrix 16, negative 2, 10, negative 2, 7, negative 8, 10, negative 8, 13. This time when I row reduce it, I get 1, 0, 1 half, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 0. So the eigenspace is the span of the vector negative 1 half, 1, 1. Again, I want to find a unit eigenvector, so I'm going to take this vector and divide by its length. So the input vectors x where the minimum is attained is plus or minus negative one-third, two-thirds, two-thirds. So again, my quadratic form Q has a max of 18 and is attained at the input vectors plus or minus two-thirds, negative one-thirds, two-thirds. And the quadratic form Q has a minimum of negative nine, and that minimum is attained at plus or minus negative one-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds. Before we end this video, I want to quickly mention one more theorem. Let Q be the quadratic form x transpose ax. And suppose that a has eigenvalues lambda 1 through lambda n in descending order, with corresponding unit eigenvectors u1 through un. Now we already know that the max of Q subject to the condition x transpose x equals 1 is lambda 1, the largest eigenvalue. And we also know that this max is attained at x equals plus or minus u1. Now let's say that we add another constraint. Let's say that we want our inputs to be orthogonal to u1. If that's the case, then the max of q subject to x transpose x equals 1 and x dot u1 equals 0 is lambda 2 and is attained at x equals plus or minus u2. So what's happening is that if we want our inputs to also be orthogonal to u1, then our max jumps to the next largest eigenvalue, lambda 2. In general, if we subject q to the constraints x transpose x equals 1 and 
the inputs are orthogonal to u1, u2, up through uk, then the max jumps to the next largest eigenvalue, lambda k plus 1, and the max will be attained at x equals plus or minus uk plus 1. So that's it for this video. We finally have all the tools we need for singular value decomposition, which we'll talk about in our next video.